praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we praise the Lord on today. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in right now. I'm Sister Maxine Bias. Hallelujah. I'm Glory. sitting here with my wonderful pastor and husband, Clarence Bias. Amen. God bless Thank you, you Jesus. all. We are from Upon This Rock Ministry. We are located in Bellport, New York. Our address is 1745 Montauk Highway, Bellport, New York. Our service starts at 1230. We are giving you an open invitation to come out. Come join us. Allow the Lord to just touch you. Let's come fellowship together. Amen. Those that are not in the New York area, we are also on live on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Yes, However hallelujah. you can find us, you'll definitely be able to find us. Amen. So we are welcoming you to come join us. Our service starts at 1230. Amen. In the just before we have service, we have um, Sunday school. We also at 1230 when we're in the building, we're on our knees. We're giving God the glory. You know, we're bringing it back old school. I know those that um, used to go to church back in the days. <laughs> I don't want to say my age, but back in the days, they remember. I know I remember coming to the church and everybody's on their knees giving God the glory. Just thanking him for all that he has done. And whatever personal that you want to speak to the Lord is your opportunity to to just give it to him. So we're bringing that back into the church. Amen. And we just, again, if you want to come join us, come join us. Amen. Before we get started, I'm going to say a quick prayer. Then Yolanda is going to give us a scripture. Also, yes, you know, you, like I said before, I never know what the Lord is going to give to us to speak on. But there's so much yeah, that he's been showing us we'll throughout something. the week. Yeah. Exactly. You know, we, we're living in a world that we got to open up our eyes, you know, and we got to be able to come together and fellowship together. You know, so I just thank God that we can do that. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to say a quick prayer for all you that's listening. Glory, just trust in the Lord, no matter what you're going through. You know, the scripture says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said he'll give you your his peace. You know, we just got to, we, we as a believer, we just got to trust in the Lord no matter what we're going through. And if you're not there yet, if you're just coming into the ministry, know that this is, it's not an easy walk, but God is with you. And the minute you say yes, Lord, is the minute he's like right there. Yes, Because you're going to go through some things. You're going to go through your trials and tribulation. Because nowhere in the Bible can says that it's going to be perfect. And the one thing we got to do as a believer is continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to study, continue to meditate, continue to praise and worship. And so much more that you can do. You know, you want to surround yourself with other believers that believe in the Lord and believe in the word. And don't sugarcoat anything to you that's going to give you the truth. Amen. Yes, so before hallelujah. we get started, I'm going to say a, a prayer. And I just, like I said, I pray that the Lord touches you. I pray that the Lord touches someone on today, whoever is going through Thank something. You, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, in Jesus' wonderful name, we thank you on this day that you thank have you, Lord. made, Lord. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to see this day. And we thank you for allowing us to wake up with the right state of mind, another day to get it right, another day to give you all the honors and all the glory and all the praises. Lord, we just thank you for everything you have done for us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for where you have brought us from and where you are taking us to. Lord, we thank you for the things that we cannot see, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for thank your you, Lord wisdom, Jesus. Lord, in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your knowledge, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your mercy, for your grace. Lord, by the blood of Jesus, we thank you for your word. Lord, by the blood of Jesus, we thank you for your son. Lord, by the blood of Jesus, we thank you for your spirit, the spirit of truth, the comforter that yes, came and teaches the way that filled us high Hallelujah, with your wonderful fruits in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to be able to come on the line right now, Lord, in the mighty name of thank Jesus. You. Lord, we pray that every word that come out of our mouth be of you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that someone receive the word on today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for those that are thank seeking you, you. May they find you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for those that have lost a loved one, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you heal their hearts, Lord, by the the blood of Jesus. We pray for those that are sick, Lord, in the hospital, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. You said by your stripes they are here, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for those that need a job. May they find one, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that are homeless, Lord. Hallelujah. May you place the roof over their head, Lord, in the mighty 
mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for everyone that is watching right now. May you release your anointing all around them. May you release your angels all around them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we bind and rebuke anything that is not of you that try to come against the word in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke any confusion. We bind and rebuke any jealousy, any bitterness, any low self-esteem, any anger, any unforgiving heart, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you have your way on today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for those that need to be delivered, Lord, in the mighty Thank name you, of Lord. Jesus. Deliver their hearts, deliver their minds, deliver their spirits, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way on today, Lord, by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We praise your wonderful mighty name. Hallelujah to your name, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way on yes, today, Lord. in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, we thank you. Hallelujah. I'm Sister Maxine Bias. I'm here with Pastor Clarence Bias, my wonderful husband. We are from Upon This Rock Ministry. Amen. And today is another day that the Lord has made, another day that he has given us with the right state of mind, yes, another Lord. day to get it right, another day to just give him all the glories and all the honor and all the praises, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're struggling with. Trust and believe if you keep your eyes on the Lord, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus. Again, Sister Yolanda is going to give us a scripture. Amen. And then we're going to go. We're going to sit down and see what the Lord has given us on today. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I'll be, reading, so good. I'll be reading James chapter thank 4, you, verse 7. Oh, thank you, Jesus. James yes, Lord. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Yes. The words of the Lord are blessed. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. I thank you for that word on today, Sister Yolanda. Amen. Pastor, I know, like I said before, we never know what the Lord is going to give us until we get to start speaking. And also, yes. <laughs> praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. So I know it's going to be something good, something great. Amen. Yes, it's always good. The word of God is good. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. The Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes, Lord. Once you taste it, it's the best food you can ever have in your life. <laughs> Amen. You, Amen. you want more. Word you want God. more. Amen. You want more. Yeah, hunger and thirst at the righteousness shall be filled. Yes. If you hunger and thirst at the righteousness, he shall be filled. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Lord, so, we just thank you, Lord. You got to see where your heart is at. So wherever you, you, you hunger and thirst after, that's where your heart is at. Amen. That's yes. where your mind and soul is at. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever you hunger and thirst after. after. Yes, mm. Lord. Glory to God. Some people hunger and thirst after things that are not like God. Mm. And that's, that's where your soul is at. Yes. But you Lord. gotta you gotta hunger and thirst after righteousness. Yes, after the after Lord. The Lord. Yes, Jesus first. Christ is righteous and that's who we should Thank you, Jesus. Hunger and thirst after. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you gotta examine yourself to make sure who you Yes. Who you hunger and thirst after. It's very important. Very important. Very important. You got to put God first. You yeah, got to make God sure. First, you got to make sure first. that you. You got to make sure. Seek while you're in this walk, are you walking for the Lord? Mm -hmm. Are you doing all that you can do for the Lord? Not for you. Not for anyone else to put any any smiles on anybody else's face, but for the Lord. You got to make sure that the love that you have inside of you, that crazy love inside of you, is for the Lord. You know, one thing the Lord was showing me is a yes. lot of people was walking away from their true love for the worldly things, for the things that is of this world. And, and the thing about it is we shouldn't put nothing before God. Growing up as a little girl, I was always told we serve a God that is a jealous God. He wants to come before your husband. He wants to come before your wife. He wants to come before your children. He wants to come before anything, your job, your money. He wants to come before all that. And I never really understood that until one day something showed, something just told me that when your children are sick, when your husband is sick, when you lost that job or there's problem on your job or whatever your situation is, who is the first person you call on? We call on the Lord whenever we go through something. So why can't we put him first? 
Amen. Yeah. Why can't he be the first thing that we, when we open up our eyes, Lord, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to see this day. Why can't it be, even if we went through something, but we're still able to lay down and close our eyes at night, Lord, I thank you for this day. Even though I know it was a hard day, I know what I went through, but Lord, I thank you for it anyway. Yes, Lord. I thank you for guiding me. I thank you for protecting me. I thank you for just keeping me humble, keeping me still. You know, a lot of people are not giving God the glory anymore. Lord, was show me a lot of people are giving the glory to, the, to their pastors, to their bishops, to other people that's in thought, that's, that's up there. Instead of getting on their knees, Lord, I, it's okay to say thank you for your past and your bishop and everything else. There's nothing wrong with that. But put God first. Don't let nothing come between you and your Lord. Don't let nothing come between you and your Savior, the one that gave his life for you. Not, not for the things that is in this world, because he said, don't love the, don't, don't be comfortable in this world and the thing that's in it. Right mm -hmm. on, you know, so it's a, it's a blessing to know that we serve a God that loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son for you and for me, for those that believe. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm not going to go on because I know I can speak. I know I can speak. I can speak all day if, <laughs> if it yeah. was up to me. Praise the Lord. Uh, but yeah. I just thank God for this opportunity just to be able to say <laughs> that we serve a wonderful God. God yes, is good. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> you got to seek Him first. Seek Him first. You got to seek Him while it's day. You got to seek Him early. Seek Him while He's found. Yeah, ready you got to be, like, be like the early birds seeking the worm. Yes. You gotta, you gotta know how to. You gotta seek the Lord. Don't be too If you want late. the Lord, seek the Lord. Yes. If you really want Him, you're gonna seek Him. Wicked folks calling on when they're in trouble. Yes. Yeah. See, when wicked folks, that's what we do. I was wicked at one time. And I used to call on the Lord when things had happened. Oh God. Oh, I just said, God, I don't want to die right now. Yes. You know, I was wicked, but then I knew how to call on God when things is. When things got tough, when things got, you know, bad. Amen. But we got to learn how to call on God when things are bad and when things are good. Yes, Lord. When you seek Him first, you're going to call on Him all the time, not just when things go bad. We seek God when we want something. Yes. So we want we want God, but we want the pleasures of the world also at the yes. same time. But you can't have both. You can't have the pleasures in God. Yes. You, can, you, you got to have you got to have God first. You want to see God wants all your attention because He has a plan and a purpose for you. Especially if he called and elected you. Not just called, because many are called. Yes. But then there's few that's chosen. Few. Only a few that's chosen. Yes, Lord. So God will call, but there's few that's chosen. So you got to make sure when he calls you that you're elected also. Yes, Lord. And then when you're elected, you'll do what God wants you to do. The call folks, they, just, they might go for a week or two. Might go for three years and then that's it. Yes. But elected folks going to go to the end. Yes. That he that endured to the end shall be saved. And that's the main. So you're gonna the people that endure to the end, that's gonna trust in the Lord with all their heart and all their mind, and they're not leaning into their own understanding. understanding. Yes. They trusted in the Lord; they shall make it. Yes. Because yes. they wasn't just called, but they was called and elected. Hallelujah. Called and elected. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So you gotta make sure that you're called and elected. Every man, every woman knows who they work for. Yes. Even we do. Yeah, we're, we're not we're not stupid. Yeah, we're not dumb. We know exactly what we're doing. People know what their intentions are, and God knows the intentions of every man hard. Yes. So he knows if you're doing it for money. He knows if you're doing it for likes. He knows if you're funny. He knows if you're false. He knows if you're a wolf. We can fool people, but you can't fool God. God knows your heart. That's why it says, he that has clean hands and a pure heart. So God knows what we're doing and what's the purpose behind what we're doing. Yes. Every man. See, that's why we see, even if we try to deny certain things, it says, woe unto them that calls evil good yes. and good evil. And that's woe unto you because yes. you, you know that that's evil, what you're doing, but you call it good or you try to justify it. Yes. You see, the devil is alive. Amen. See, we know we're not, we not dumb. God, God made us to know, <clears throat> with a choice to know what's good and what's wrong. Amen. We know that's wrong. We could call out the sins down if we feel like it, or we could just we know what's wrong. Amen. That's the that's the crazy. But Lord has shown me that lately. Like we know what's wrong. Yes. So you 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 be actually choosing who your father is. Either God the Father is your father or the devil. Yes. So you, either one is your father. The devil is either your father or God is your father. You know what I'm saying? You, you, I don't care how much you shout, preach, dance. 
Yes. Breathe, pray is how you live. Yes. Holiness is how you live day by day. Holiness is a is an action of how you live day by day. Yes. Yeah. How much you love righteousness and enjoy and, and, and love the Lord yeah. by obeying his commandments, obeying him. Yeah, obeying the Lord. Yes. Yeah, what he said. There's a, there's a yeah. scripture that says once you taste him, there's not you will not want once you really truly taste and get to know the Lord, get to know God, your creator, nothing, when you really have your mind made up, nothing is gonna pull you away. You're not you're not gonna wanna do the things that you do anymore. You're not gonna wanna say the things that you say. And you're not even gonna wanna be around the people. And not the fact that you don't yeah. love them, because yeah. no, you're no. gonna still love them no you're matter what. Yourself. But you're gonna separate yourself because you're gonna start having that relationship with them. You're gonna find yourself by yourself. You're gonna find yourself to where all you want to do is sit down and read and study. And then when you start hearing him speak, because he'll start speaking to your heart, then he starts speaking to your mind. And I definitely yes, really understood that. And to someone, I was like, well, something told me to do this, and something's, and the, my, my, the bishop that I was under, my wonderful bishop, he was like, that's something, is the Lord, the Lord is speaking to you. And I didn't know that, and then when, and then I started studying, I started getting excited, because I'm like, wow, why didn't I know this back then? That's because I know I'm filled with the Spirit now. The Lord had filled me with this Spirit. Those that are out there that are in churches, that are, that are sitting in the churches that are watching this it's important to be filled with the spirit it is important the lord showed me of months ago there's wonderful people well you see all these people that are sitting in church paying their tithes and paying their offerings doing work around the churches and everything else doing everything that they're supposed to be doing but they don't have the spirit so i spoke on i spoke to a couple of people that are sitting in churches that are high up there. And I asked them, when was the last time you spoke on the Spirit? When was the last time you've been in a service where the Holy Spirit has been mentioned? And they had to think about that. And it's a, that's dangerous because it's the Spirit that's teaching. It's the Spirit that gives the word to the pastor. It's the Spirit that gives the word to the bishop. It's the Spirit that gives, that gives you understanding of the Bible or the things that you're reading. It's the Spirit when he fills you with his fruits, yes, with his Lord, gifts. Lord. I mean, it's so much that the Spirit will give to you to where you'll be able to handle and deal with this everyday life that we live in. This world that we live in is not the world that the Lord has talked about when he said he gave his life. You know, when, Jesus, when, when the Father had, when the scripture said that he sent his only begotten son, this yes, is not Lord, the world that he is talking about. He's talking about the world to come. This is why he said, don't get comfortable in this world and the things that's in it. Don't, we have to sit, we, he, we are here to help one another. We are here to keep each other strong, keep, keep each other to keep our faith, help build our faith up with one another. And allow um, one of, you know, if someone is going through something, answer them. Speak to them. Not give, take what they're giving to you and share it with the next person. And uh, it's very important for us to be able to come together right now. Fellowship together right now. Not tomorrow. Not the day after. But now. Because when you open up your window, you turn on that TV, you go outside, you see what's going on in this world. And we're here to give you the truth, letting you know, no, you cannot do the things that you're doing. You know what you're doing is not yeah, right. Yeah, we know. That's what I'm saying. That's the, you know what you're know doing is right not right. Wrong. You know what you're doing is wrong. Now is the time. We can't play with God. Oh, God, I need this. Lord, I need that. Lord, I need this. And then all of a sudden we get it and then go back and, and go run and do what we're doing. God don't bless mess. Sometimes the enemy hears those prayers too and he'll give it to you just to keep you right where you're at. And you'll sit there and think it's from the Lord. We have to be careful knowing that everything that we see receive is from God. And if we receive it, we continue to keep doing what we was doing before he gave it to us. We continue to keep praying. We continue to keep fasting. We continue to keep fellowshipping, going into the house of the Lord with one another. You know, it's very important. You know, it's very important. The Lord was showing me so much for the last couple of months of what's taking place in this world. Again, he said they're, they're running away. They're running, they're running away from the churches. They're not fellowshipping anymore. They're not coming to him anymore. They're not praying anymore. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, and it's a, and again, it's, it brings it back to the beginning. Examine yourself. Those that are, are believers, examine yourself. You have big churches. Are you going out into the streets? Are you bringing them people in? 
Everybody knows somebody that's still sitting. Everybody knows someone that, I believe everyone knows someone that's locked up in jail. I believe everybody knows someone that's in the hospital. I believe everybody knows someone that's in a nursing home, that are on the street still, that are, that are homeless. Somebody knows someone that needs to hear a word. You know, so it's our job as believers to come together as one. It shouldn't be, and we're serving the same Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There should be no divide. Listen, we should be coming together. The Lord said, when my people come together, then we'll hear from him. It's, we need to come together. Like Pastor said last, last time, let's have a revival. We don't need money to have a revival. We don't need none of that to be able to go out into the streets and spread the good news that the Lord is still here. He's still healing. He's still blessing. He's still opening up doors. Yes, he is. But it's our job to go out there and let people know. Yes, Amen. Lord. So we're going to get into the teaching because I know the pastor's like, hey. Yeah, you're going at it. <laughs> it's just, it, you know, Lord. sometimes <laughs> it, it brings me tears to my eyes. It brings tears to my eyes when the Lord say, my people, they're having banquets, but my people are starving. They're having, they live in mansions and big houses, but my people are homeless. You know, when he gave that to me, he gave that to me three times. And each time he gave that to me, I had tears in my eyes. And I'm like, Lord, what am I supposed to do? He said, let them know. I see everything. He knows everything. They're using his name, and his name is not even in the mix. He's not even in the mix of it. Yeah, the, Lord, the Lord sees everything. His eyes, he's everywhere, beholding the good and the evil. Amen. God sees you. God Amen. sees you, and you, made, and you he put a choice in you. Yes. God put a choice in you, and you know right from wrong. Exactly. Every man knows right from wrong. Yes. They know what's right and they know what's wrong. Praise the Lord. Some things come from the devil, some things come from God. Righteous things come from God. Amen. Bad, sick things come from the devil. Anything yes. that's against God's laws or transgress, transgress against God's holiness. Yes. It's the same. And we got to come God, together. Every man got God in him. Yeah. Every woman got God in him. The same breath that God breathed into Adam is in us. Yes. It is in us. Every man has a little bit of faith. Yes. I mean, man, I mean, mankind, woman, and man. Yes. Have a little faith in them to know to choose. Choice comes from God. Comes from the Spirit. Yeah, it comes from God. Yes, because we we all really belong to God. Yes, that's why I said all. See, God said all yes. souls belong to, belong to Him. See what I'm saying? See, back yes. everything of the Scripture. Everything. All souls belong to Him. But yes. the soul that sinneth shall die. Yes. So when you sin, your father becomes the devil. Yes. A sinner is a person that accepts the sin. Sin comes from demons and devils. Yes. And then you accept it, you become a sinner. Yes. Yes, glory to God. And I just wanted to say one thing before you get started. When the Lord was showing me, you know, a lot of people deal with pride. You know, they worried about other people, what other people think if they walk into the house of the Lord or if they're serving the Lord or if they, if they, if they, you know, they're worried about what other people think. But you got to remember what that scripture said when the Lord has said, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. And oh, uh, don't let, don't, don't. Don't let what other people think stop you from being set free, being delivered, receiving salvation. Because salvation is free right now. It is free. It's always been free. Thank you, and Jesus. the doors are open. And the doors and, and those that are watching, anybody that's sitting here watching this today, they know that the Lord is calling for those with an open arm to come in. Don't be afraid to step into the house of the Lord and say, yes, Lord, it's me. Yes, Lord, I want, I need this. I need you in my life. Don't be afraid to call on the name of the Lord. Don't be afraid to just, we, you got to make a decision. And I've been saying it all day to everyone that I speak to. You got to make a, a decision. It's either you're serving the world, and the world is the devil, or you're serving God. There's no such thing as the middle. So you got to make a choice today or whatever day. You have to make a choice who you want to serve. And don't worry about anybody else. And you once you move, other people will start following. You know, uh, one thing I know is a lot of people like to follow other people, but you gotta make your just you gotta make your choice for yourself because other people can't save you when Jesus Christ come knocking on that door. When Jesus Christ come back, are you ready? That's your main question. Are you ready? Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, Thank are you, you Jesus. Ready? Yes. Glory Thank God. you, Lord. So we we we, we thank the Lord. Yes. Because the Lord, He's the one that gives us what He gives. See, every man got God in him. When you got God in you, you got gifts. Yes. You have gifts in you. They give and you God, strength. You have gifts. And when God gives you these gifts, He expects you to use those gifts for Him. For Him. 
because he gets the glory. Yes. So some of us got multiple gifts. And God expects us in those gifts to grow. Yes, Lord. And to help others grow. Hallelujah. So that others can use their gifts also and be stared up so that they can use their gifts. Yes. See? Hallelujah. Gifts are important. And whatever God has put in you to use to help somebody else, it's important to use it, not to bury it and hide it. But God wants you to use it, you know. Yes. See, God wants us to grow in those areas. Yes, areas. it's important. Whatever God puts in you, even if it's the fruit of the Spirit, God wants you, He wants the fruits in you to grow. Yes. He wants you to grow more in love, you know, peace, peace joy, joy meekness. And meekness. He wants you to grow more. Humble we just yourself. don't, we just yes. don't stop. We like a tree planted by the rivers of water. So we just don't stop. We continue. He, we continue growing. God will continue purging us yes, so that Lord. we can bring forth much fruit. fruit. That's the point. Much fruit. He keep purging us, purging us, purging because he loves us. Yes. So when he purges you, it wants you to step out to become strong yes, than what you are. Lord. So it's important not to be lazy in the gospel. You know, if you're a pastor, preach. Yes. If you're a teacher, teach. If you're evangelist, evangelize. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Glory to God. If you're apostle, do the work. Yes. If you're a prophet, prophesy. Amen. Glory to God. Do what the Lord has put in you to do. Amen. Yeah. Because the gift belongs to the Lord. It doesn't belong to you. Yes. Glory to God. And God is expecting some type of... He's coming back and he wants to see what you did with that. That gift. Yeah, with that gift. He wants... He, see, God already sees, but he won't, he won't let you see. He won't let you know. Yes. Like, okay, what, what have you done? So he wants you, he wants to know what every man has done according yes. to their own several ability. Amen. Right? Amen. Praise God. So we're gonna go into Matthew 25. And we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk and enjoy the Lord. Yes, Lord. Matthew 25, 14 to 30. There's a little a little couple couple of verses. That's gonna bless the body of Christ to this evening. Amen. Bless the body of Christ this evening. Amen. Matthew 25 and 14 to 30. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own service. See, God calls us. He called his own service. See, one thing about God, he called us. Yes. He called us and elected us. Called and elected and delivered unto them goods. See, God gives us goods. He gives us, he gives us something. Amen. He gave every man something. That's what I'm telling you. See, he gave every man something. Every man got some type of goods in him. Amen. You have the right, you see, you have the right to do good or the right to do bad. It's your choice. You know what I mean? But God is good. Amen. So when you do good, good things, it's because you, you might be following after the law. Yes. And if you want to do good things, then you want to follow after the law. You know? But just because you're good, that's still not enough. Yes. Being good is not enough. You have to, your goods is going to have to be, going to have to get God the glory out of it. Amen. Your goods is going to still, you still got to be born again. Yes. You must be born again. That's when you're considered really good. When you become born again. Oh, how right? Born again. God is the one that makes us good. Right? Thank you, Jesus. But it says, until one, he gave five talents. Right? We're going to leave, we're going to use this parable and put it in our terms. And until one, he gave five talents. Right? He gave one, five. And to another, he gave two. Yes. And to another, he gave one. To every man according to his several ability. Yes. Right? And straightway took his journey. See, God gave everybody. Some people get five. Yes. You might have five gifts. Amen. This person might have two. Might this person might have one. Yes. But whatever God give you, he still get to go over. Yes. Yeah. Glory to God. Yes. Take what the Lord give you. Amen. If he give you five, bless him. If he give you two, bless him. If he yes. give you four, bless him. If God just give you one, take it. Yes. Run with it. And glorify him. Right? Hallelujah. Because he is good. Because the Lord gave it to you. Right? And number six, it says, Then he that have received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. Yes. See, now when God gave the one five, look how the, see, the, the one that had five, he multiplied it. And it became five more. That's what God wants. God wants us to double. God wants us to use that gift to to, to, to bring in souls. God wants us to use that gift to grow the body of Christ. Yes, Lord. Right? You give him five, you got to end up doubling it. And likewise, he that received two, he also gained another two. Yes. Right? So even the one that had two knew how to 
Work those gifts that God gave him. Amen. That the Lord gave him to get two more. Because the Lord is good. That's how the Lord works. It's going to increase. Yes. Yeah. Your preaching is going to increase. Your teaching is going to increase. Your love is going to increase. You're not going backwards. Yes. You're not going backwards with Christ. You're going forward. Amen. God expects us to go forward. God wants to perfect us yes. in areas that we feel that we cannot be perfected in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right? But he that received one, look, the one that received one, he had one, right? But the one that received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Mm. Yeah. And some people are, are, are ashamed of the Lord. Yes. Some people don't want to work. Some people just lazy and slothful. And it's a sin. They don't want to do nothing for God. Some people don't even want to hear God. Some people got gifts and rather work for the devil with it than God. Yes. A lot of people got gifts, but they use their gifts for the enemy. Yes. Instead of using it for God. But that belongs to God. It doesn't belong to you. It's making you money, but it belongs to God. Amen. Yeah. So every time you, you sin with that gift, it's, it's, it's for the devil. It's not for God. Yes. And it's like digging it and burying it every time you do that. Yeah. But when you do it for God, you're not digging a hole. You're not burying it. You, yes. you see, God is being glorified. Yes. Lord. But the gift that God gave us and the talents that God has gave us is not for us. But it's for, the, it's for other folks and for the body of Christ to grow. Yes. It's to help to edify somebody else. Yes, it's for the yeah. body of Christ. It's, it's for the body of Christ. It's the Lord's work. Anything that belongs to God is God and it belongs to him. Yes. And if God give it to you, he can take it from you. Yes, he can. As quick as he give it to you, he can take it from you. Yes, Lord. This is what is it for a man to gain the world and everything in it. Oh, and die and lose his soul. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't nothing worse than losing your soul for. Nothing. Because a lot of people, the devil got people believing that they it is worth it. Yeah. And they, they choose to use their gift to serve the devil. Yeah. Yeah. So with your gift, you are supposed to glorify God. Yes. Yeah. And use it to, 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 to for the body of Christ. Instead of using it for Satan and his kingdom. Oh, right? Satan and his kingdom. But tonight we're gonna we gonna we gonna knock Satan's kingdom down. Mm, with this word you? right here. Because the, our gifts belong to the Lord. Yes, Lord. And we're not gonna we're not gonna serve the devil with our gifts. Yes. We're going to make sure that we serve God with the gifts that we have in us. Glory right? Yes, Lord. But he that had one went and digged in the earth. And the Bible states that and he hid his Lord's money. He hid it. Man, you got to be careful. Every time you sit in, you, you sit in with God's gift, is hiding it. Yes. You're hiding God. You're hiding God's gift. Every time you don't want to move and work for the Lord. You're hiding God's gift. Every time God whispers to you and tells you to go to the hospitals and you don't go, you're hiding God's gift. Yes. Every time you don't want to go to the jails or speak to people that's in jail, you're hiding God's gift. Yes. Every time you don't want to go to the nursing homes, you're hiding God's gift. Amen. Yeah. When you don't want to help around the body of Christ and help in the house of the Lord, Amen. you're hiding God's gift. Yeah. So many ways it shows that we're hiding God's gift. Yes. Lord. Because we're not we're not working for ourselves, but we're working for God. Amen. We're working for the Lord. We are servants, first and foremost. Amen. We are servants. True believers are servants. True born again believers are servants Amen. of the Lord. We serve the Lord. And then we serve others. It's like Jesus Christ washed feet. We can do the same thing. Amen. Because we are servants. And we humble ourselves to serve. God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But by digging digging into the earth and hiding the gift that God has gave you, make you wicked. Yeah. You become a wicked person because you know what you ought to do. Yes. You know. As I said, people know what they ought to do. You know that you ought to be serving God. Amen. Instead of serving the devil. But folks love darkness rather than light. That's why they serve the devil. Because they love the devil. Yes. Yeah, ain't that so? And they don't even we realize. Love the, they, 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 most people do realize. That's, what, that's, the whole, yeah. that's the whole point of this stuff. They do realize. Yeah. People love darkness rather than light. The scripture says they love it. Mm -hmm. So they know that it's darkness because they love darkness rather than light. Amen. Yeah, so they know exactly what they're doing. People know that they're sinning. Yeah. Yeah. People know exactly that they're sinning. 
Yeah. And then when they come out and they want, they get sick and tired of sin, they come out and then be taught yeah. on how to keep their salvation. Yeah, yeah keep it. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Glory to God. Because it ain't no one saved, always saved. Yes. You could, you could, see, you see, he that endured to the end will be saved. Amen. So you, Glory can't, to God. you can't go come in and out. See, in you and can out, turn and around out. and go back to your own vomit, the Bible states, and yeah. you're like a dog. Yeah. Glory to God. So you got to be careful. Yeah, it says, no man shall pluck me out the hand. Right? Amen. But you leave God. Yeah. God don't leave you. God don't leave you. You yes. leave God. You leave the gospel. Yeah. Many in the last days shall leave the gospel and turn to, 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 to doctrines of demons and yes. devils. In the last days. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But those that got the gifts in them and, and that was called an elect, they're going to stay true and preach holiness. Amen. No matter who get mad and who don't like it. Glory to God. Because I'm doing this for God. Amen. And it's going to be one soul that's going to listen because we only care about one soul like heaven does. And the angels rejoice over one that's soul. So All it takes is just one person one, getting saved. That's it. You can be in a Glory, room with hallelujah. People. I don't care. All it takes is one soul. Listen, you get 500 views, 1,000 views, whatever. It, it or nobody receive it. And just one that's person it. receive it. That's all it takes. Heaven is rejoicing. Ooh, hallelujah. God's job is done. Yes, Glory Lord. to God. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus, for that one person. Just off of one person. Mm, thank you, Lord. And God is concerned about one person's soul turning over. Yes. Because the wicked are going to always love darkness. That's why I said they love darkness rather than light. Yes. And then the devil, he is the tempter. Yes. Now, God tests us, but he's the tempter. God do not tempt us with evil. Yes. Lord. Glory to God. Now, God will test us, but never tempt us with evil. Yes. The devil tempts us with evil. And when the evil comes, we accept it because we love darkness rather than light. The Bible states that we are drawn away by our own lusts Amen. and enticed. So we are drawn away because we love what the devil has to offer. Yes. So then we don't want to serve God for wholeheartedly yes. because of some things that we still love in yes. the world. Yes. So the things that we love in the world belong to the devil. Yes. So we still love some of those things. We don't want to let them go. That's why we can't become fully born again. Yes. That's why you got so much shade. Yes. That's why you got so much sugar. Yes. Because people can't let go. They know the word. They know the truth. But they but they don't want to let go of the world. Yes. They want to hold on to some of those struggles. Because those struggles actually they love. Yes. Some people love pornography. Yes. Some people can't. They love masturbating. Yeah. Yeah. Some people love sex. Yeah. They don't want to let it go. So then they when they get convicted and hear this type of gospel, they really want to change in that. They're not ready. And they'll tell you I'm not ready yet. And when a person say that, that's because they, they're not ready because they 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 serving the devil. Yeah. Yeah. The devil is their father. Yes. And what they really say when they say I'm not ready yet is that they still love something out there. Yeah, they love, they the love darkness. Yes, when a person say that, they love darkness yes, rather than light. Amen. Ain't that scary? Yes, it's, very yeah, it's very scary when a person say, I'm not ready. How you, listen, how are you not ready for the Lord? Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What if Jesus said he wasn't ready to die on the cross? Mm. Yes. What, what, if, what would happen if Jesus would have said, if God would have said, if he didn't say, prepare me a body? Mm. Yes, Lord. What would happen? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. But Christ was ready. And we're going to have to be ready just as much as he was. Yes. Like yeah. All the way to the end. He that endured to the end shall be saved. That's why I said, the day you hear my voice, harden. Not your heart. Not your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. We harden a lot of times. Then God's grace and mercy fall over to the next day. And then, you know, you get another opportunity. Yeah. Every time. Yeah, every, every time. Day. You know, that's a good thing about God. Because Ooh. even though you said you don't want in a day, he might knock you off your high horse. Yes. And by tomorrow, you'll be like, I want him. Yes. Sometimes he got to swallow you. Yes. Sometimes God got to allow something bad to happen to you Amen. for you to turn to him. Yes. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. A miracle, something supernatural. Yes, Lord. Yeah, in order for you to turn to God. Yes. Yeah, because some people just not going to turn. Hallelujah. Some people just not going to turn by you just preaching. Something got to happen to them. Yeah. Then they'll turn because they're stubborn. Amen. They got a stubborn spirit. But at least their turn. It was called and elected. Ooh, God knows who's called and who's elected. Yes, he did. That's what he died for. He died for the called and elect. He died for his people. Yes. Glory to God. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank the Lord. God 
God is so good. Thank Glory you, to Jesus. God. Thank God for his word. Yeah. Woo! I thank him for his word. His word is there to teach us, <laughs> to show us the way. Listen, you to say tomorrow, no one knows what tomorrow is going to bring. You don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Yeah, you don't know what it's going to bring. You know, you got to get it every time you open up your eyes. There's another day that he has given you. Every time you close your eyes and you open up the next day for 15 minutes or 5 minutes or whatever, it's another chance to say, Lord, it's me. Yes, Lord. And and really mean it in, in, in the inside because God knows if you really mean it or not. He knows. You know, but it's, it's on you. Everyone that's, anyone that's not saved, anyone that don't know Christ, anyone that's searching, whatever, it's on. Your walk is up to you. Salvation is when you really want it. And when you want it, you're going to have to let go of yeah. some things. And I believe faith comes by hearing. Yes. Like the Bible said, Amen. faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. Yes. Everything. So me, I, I, I don't get impressed by screaming pastors. Yes. If you're screaming, I can't hear you. Yes. Because faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. The people need to hear a word in order to be delivered. If you're screaming, what are you saying? If I can't hear you, what in the world are you saying? If the music is blasting past the word and I can't hear it, what are you saying? What are you actually saying? How will people be able to live it? Oh, hallelujah. Because faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Sit your butt down with all that screaming and yelling and give a person a word. Yeah. All that screaming and yelling is not of the Lord. Thank yeah. Jesus. Jesus Christ spoke that people can hear. Yeah. Not screaming and yelling to the point that people can't hear a word from the Lord. Sit down and get saved so that people can hear what's really going on, especially with the word of God. Nowadays, people need to hear. Amen. Because we know that faith comes by hearing. People need to hear. They actually need to hear the word of God. Yeah. Word for word, they need to hear it. Yes. Amen. Every word. And it says, after a long time, this is verse 19. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. Right. Now the Lord's going to come. One for one, I don't care who we are. We, the Lord is coming. Yeah. Every knee going to bow, every tongue going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes. I don't care who you is. Every, the Lord is coming. He's going to come. He's going to divide the sheep from the goat. He's going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Amen. Glory to God. He's going to put his people on the right hand and the devil people on the left. And the ones that's on the left, he's going to throw into a lake of fire. Glory to God, because they did not serve him and did not want to serve him. Yes, Lord. And ignored his holy commandments mm -hmm. and thought they could live any way that they wanted to live according to them and according to the lies that the devil has whispered in their ears. He was a liar from the beginning. He was a murderer from the beginning. Yes. He was as sick. He's, he, was a, he was a little serpent in God and Eve. Yes, Lord. And he did so much damage throughout all these thousands of years that he's a great dragon now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, he did so much damage and so much lie. He lied in the garden and he's still lying now. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. So you got to watch who you listen to. Because you either listen to demons or you listen to God throughout the day. Yeah, throughout the day, it's either God or demons that's influencing your mind. So you got to be very careful. That's why you got to pull on the full arm of God. No, so that you'll be able to discern good from evil that's coming into your mind. Amen. Anything that keeps you away from the word of God is of the devil. Yes. No, that keeps you from um, edifying yourself. Yes. That keeps you from growing. Anything that got you doubting is from the devil. Yes. Yeah, the devil wants you to doubt the word of truth. Amen. Yeah. Amen. When you, and it wants you, you to follow a lie. There's many a lies out there that you can follow. Amen. But there's only one truth. The truth that convicts, that tells us to do what's right. Yes. And to Amen. live righteous. Yeah. Hallelujah. God. When you serve in the Lord, like I said earlier, it's like you want more. It's like you want more. The more that you serve, the more that you study, the more that you just say yes, Lord, and you give your all to him, you're going to start wanting more. So when you hear in that voice, oh, no, you're too tired to go to church today. Oh, no, you're too tired to fellowship today. Oh, no, 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 um, um, you don't feel good. You got pain in your body or, you know, there's always a reason, there's an excuse. 
That's not God that's giving you that excuse. The best place to be when you don't when you don't feel good or when you're in pain or when you um too tired or when you're having problems in your home or if you're having problems on your job or in your marriage, the best place to be is being around others just to fellowship, just to praise, just to hear a word. You know, no one doesn't even have to know what you're going through. Just being able to be in the house of the Lord and giving God the glory. Being able to come together with one another and just giving God the glory. You know, because a lot of the things that we go through in this world, we can't go through it by ourselves. We can't do it by ourselves. You got more and more people that are dealing with that suicide spirit. That spirit that's whispering in people's ear, telling people no one loves you, no one cares yes, about yeah. you. Go ahead and go kill yourself or whatever. Or dealing with that, that abandonment spirit or dealing with low self-esteem spirit or dealing with depression spirit or dealing with unforgiving heart. All these things are spirits. All these things are things that you cannot see that sits there and whispers in your ear. Gossiping spirit, jealousy spirit, bitterness, all these things, unforgive. All these things are spirits from the enemy that sits there and lurks around to find who he can find to bring down yes, with Lord, it. Yeah. And so when, this is why you can't do it by yourself. Even when you make it into the house of the Lord, don't just go, when you come in, you feeling good and you feeling... You probably, you probably getting delivered from some things once you got in there and you praise and you glorify and you get up for prayer, whatever it is that take place in your church. But as soon as you walk out that door, whatever God delivered off of you is standing there waiting for you to just so it can jump right back on you. You got to be in a place that's going to teach you on deliverance, that's going to teach you how to keep these things away from you, to, how, to teach you how to let go of the things that happened in your past. Because that's stuff that holds you back from being who you are, who God created you to be. And you know, we cannot do this by ourselves. This walk is a lonely walk. But God sends people. He sends us people that's there to help us, that's there to work with us when we are by ourselves and we need someone to talk to. And you know, also don't give up on God. Don't give up on your walk. Don't give up um, the things that the Lord has for you. For this world, for the things that's in this world, the things that's going to hold you back, the things that's going to tear you apart. Because this world is, and that's what it's doing. I know you spoke last week on wheat and the tears. And so if you got the wheat and the tears, you got the, the tears trying to pull the wheat down, you know. Though, And they're sitting in the churches. They're sitting all around us. You know, the enemy does not want to see you grow. He does not want you to know that you have a purpose in this world. He don't want you to know that God created man in the image of him. You know, in the, in, in the image of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He don't want you to know if you tell the devil he has to leave, he has no choice but to go. He don't want you to know that there's power in the word of God. If you plead the blood of Jesus over whatever situation, you really truly know that Jesus, in the, in the name of Jesus, things, mountains got to move. If, he don't, if you don't know about that, you'll never know. If the enemy keep, And what the enemy does is he throws things at you to keep you right where you're at. He'll give you your heart desire. He'll give you that man, that lady. He'll give you, them, he'll give you whatever you want. But when he's done with you, he's going to pull you right back down. I don't care who you are. He can sit there and throw a million dollars at you just to keep you right where you're at. But when he's done with you, you will hit rock bottom. But the best thing about our Lord is when he gives you a gift, he don't take it from you. He don't take it from you. He won't. None of that. You lose it because you forget where it came from. You lose it because you start cherishing more of that gift than the God that gave you that gift. So the enemy will come right up in there. After you get all comfortable with it, he'll start taking pieces because you stop praying, you stop worshiping, you stop glorifying, you stop praying, you stop fellowshipping with others, you stop speaking the word of the Lord. You got to be careful with this walk and you got to be careful with the gifts that the Lord gives to you because all gifts belong to the Lord and stuff. So it's on you to do your part. It's on you to, to pull that gift that he gave you out from underneath that ground and do the work that the Lord told you to do. Or listen to when he's calling, because he's calling a lot of you. A lot of people that's watching the Lord is calling. And you don't know which way to go. But you're going to have to step out and step out in faith and trust in the Lord. And keep your eyes on the Lord. You know, you can't serve both. You're either serving one or you're serving the other. You're either righteous or, yeah, hallelujah. you know, you got you to gotta make sure 
you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for the body of Christ. Amen? Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We go to the 20th verse, and it says, And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. Yes. See, that's what a servant will do. A servant will have much fruit. That's it. said, you should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth much fruit yes. in his season. See? You're going to bring forth much fruit. Yes. See? In his season. And he did. He brought forth what, what the Lord required. Yes. You know what I mean? So he, he had five, but then he brought five more. That's what the Lord wants. He wants you to expand. God wants you to grow. Yes. God wants you to, 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 to outgrow your, your, your problems. Yes, Lord. See? God wants you to expand. Thank you, Jesus. Right? And his Lord said unto him, Well done. In other words, see, this is what the Lord would say. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Glory. Uh -huh. This is how you get joy. This is how you enter into God. Yes. By doing what the Lord, what, what you see, doing what's right. Right? That's a blessing. Amen. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou delivers unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents besides them. He had two and gained two more. And his Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter down to the joy of the Lord. Ain't that something? Then he said that to both of them. Yes. Even though one had five and one had two, yes. God showed no favorism, no favorism, no favoritism or partiality. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To your several ability. Yes. Ain't that something? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So you can give through 50. Yes. And give one one, and you will still get the same joy as the one that got yes. fifty. Yes. Because it's it's because God works with your several yes. ability. Yes. Lord have mercy. Yes. Everybody's different. Yes. Every human being is different. Every human being been through something yes. tragic, or been through something. So God works with that yes. according to His riches and glory. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He knows how much this person can handle, and knows how much yes. this person yes. can handle. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. He knows what this person could bear, and he knows what this yes. person could bear. Yes, Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. It's not like he loved that person more because he gave him more, and it's not like he loved that person any less because he gave him less. He loves them the same, it's just that he works with their several ability. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we give God glory for that. Yes. And he had two to say, Behold, he gave two other times besides him. And the Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant, that has been faithful over a few things. Yes. I will make thee ruler over many things. You're going to make him ruler over many things. Yes. Enter down to the joy of the Lord. Enter oh, thou into hallelujah. the joy of the Lord. Glory to God. Then he which had received one. Glory to God. Look, he received one. Talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man. Now we know. We know that the Lord is not playing. We know that. Yes. Know what I'm telling you? Every man knows. Lord, I know you are God. I know you the Lord. <laughs> Lord, I know you're not playing. I know you're going to throw me in a lake of fire because I have not been right. Right? Amen. Reaping where thou hast not sown and gathered where thou hast not strong. He knew all it. He yes. knew. Remember I told you? Yes. He actually knew that the Lord is the Lord. Yes. yes. Right? Glory to God. And he said, and I was afraid. Mm. They always lie. Wicked folks lie. Yes. The word I was afraid showed up in the garden. Mm. Remember? Yes, Lord. Lord, I was afraid. We was naked. And I was afraid. <laughs> Again, the same word. Amen. Every time you sit and you're wicked, yes. you are afraid. Yes. You come up with that excuse. It's an excuse. I was afraid. Afraid of what? I was afraid and went and hid the yes. Lord. <laughs> Lord, it, and they hid just like the, look, this is bringing it back to Genesis. Yes. The Lord showed you something different every time. Every time. Yes. Every time with these scriptures, God opens up new wisdom and understanding. Praise the Lord. New wisdom and new understanding. Yes. Because it says, in I was afraid. Yes, Lord. And went and hid the talents in the earth. <laughs> and he went afraid the same word like in the garden. Yes. When they said I was afraid, was it naked? 
We knew he was naked and we was afraid, so we hid. Yes. Same thing. And he said he hid that talents in the earth. Lo, there thou has that in that is thine. His Lord answered. The Lord answered. And said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful yes, Lord. servant. Mm. Good God Almighty. That's what makes you wicked. Yes. And slothful. Thou know that I reap where I sow not. And gathered where I have not strong. Mm. You know that I was coming back. You know that I'm God. You know that I'm the Lord and that I will punish you. Yes. Glory to God. Right? Thou ordered, therefore, to have put my money to the exchanges. Yes. And then at my coming, I should have received mine with usury. You should have known to have it, brother. Yes. You should have known to have it complete. You should have known, yes. right? Like we do. Yes. Every human being knows. Man, oh, when we know what's wrong. Yes. And then we come with an excuse that I was scared. Yes. I hit myself. I didn't know what to do. My pastor is bad. My church shared me. I don't get along with him. We always got excuses. Yes. If you go to church, to the church building, because we are the church, if you go to the house of the Lord, and people is the cause of you not serving God. God wasn't your God in the first place. Yes. People was. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Because I refuse to let anybody yes, Lord. stop me from serving God. Yes, Lord. Rather it's the bishop. Yes. Rather it's the pastor. Rather it's the evangelist. Rather it's the pastors. Rather it's the teachers. The the prophets, whoever they are, I will not stop serving God. Yes. I will not stop. Thank you, Jesus. It's impossible. Ooh, you can't God. make me stop. Yeah. Glory. The Bible says for us to live in Christ is to die. Oh. It's, it's gain yes. in dying for Christ. It's a gain. Yes. To yes. live in Christ and die. It's Thank gain. You. It's gain. Thank you. Glory to God. I gain when I die. Oh, I like that. Oh, thank God. you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm gaining while I'm living and I'm gaining when I'm dead. Thank you, and goodness Jesus. and mercy to follow us all the days of our life. Yes. Lord. And I will dwell in that house of the Lord forever. Ever. Glory yes, to God. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we know what we should have done just like he knew. He knew what he should have done. Every man knows what they should have done. Yes. Mm -hmm. When it comes down to the Lord, God is coming back. For a church without spot and without blemish. Yes, and he's coming back taking vengeance on those that did not know God. Yes. Now they didn't know God because they chose not to know him, right? Yes. And those that knew him yes. but didn't obey. Go read the scripture. Hallelujah. Let's be taking vengeance on. Yes. Glory. Yeah. You know, but you didn't obey. Then you got the ones that's running around out there now that's denying the Bible. Denying God and blocked out the Lord. And they got God in them because every man got it. Yes. Every man had that several ability to know that there's a yes. God. That's why it says a fool, a fool, a fool yes. says in his heart that there's no God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and then some fools say, yeah, there's a God, but it ain't Jesus. Mm -hmm. You're still a fool because Jesus Christ is God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the Lord of Lords, Glory the King Lord. of Kings. He said, when you see me, you see the Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. When you see Jesus, you see the Father. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Yes. But you knew what to do and how to do it, but you didn't do it. Yes, Lord. Therefore, look what the Lord says in 28. Take therefore the talent from him. And this is what the Lord will do. Yes, he will. And give it to him which had ten talents. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Lord, here I am. If they don't want to use you, God. Yes. I'll take their gift. Yes, Lord. God, if they don't want to walk with you, Hallelujah. I'll take it, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, if they don't want to drink with I'll you, go. God, I'll Hallelujah. drink. God, if they don't want to go, I will go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I will do it. Thank you, Lord. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it, Lord. God, Thank take you. it from them and give it to me. Thank God, you. and take what somebody else got and yes, give it Lord. to you because of your boldness. 
The last shall be first, and the first shall be last in these evil and wicked days. Thank you, Jesus. But the next church ain't doing God, give it to me. Yes. They don't want to speak boldly, God. Yes. Give it to me. I'll speak boldly, Lord, for you. Yes. I'm not scared and I'm not ashamed. Yes, Lord. God, he said, I baptize you with fire. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank the you, saints Jesus. should have fire coming out their mouth. Yes, Lord. Conviction. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. To change. Thank you, Lord. And to serve God in the beauty of holiness. Oh, glory. glory to God. And he took it from him. Yes, Lord. And gave it to him that had the ten talents. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And it says, for unto everyone that hath shall be given. Yes. And he shall have an abundance. Yes, Lord. But for him that hath not shall be taken away, even that which he hath. Yes. So what did you all gifts belong to God? Just like all souls belong to God. But the soul that sinneth shall die. And then when you die, that gift still goes to the Lord. That gift don't belong to you. It might have made you money. It might have made you wealthy. It might have got you a couple of jets, a couple of mansions. But what is it for a man to gain the world? Die and lose his soul. It's not worth it because wisdom is more important than gold. Yes, oh, wisdom is more important. God is yes. more important. God is more important than wealth. Yes. And God would take that gift that you use yes, and give it to another servant Hi. so that they may use it the right way. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And to you, this is what he says, and cast ye the unprofitable servant. Oh Lord have mercy. And to out of darkness. Mm. There shall be weeping. Yes. And gnashing. Of teeth. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Let the church say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Look what happens. Glory to God. Oh, oh I can feel the spirit of God. Yes. Look what happened to those that, that, that don't use God's gift. Yes. The way that he wants you to use them. It is very important for us as saints to glorify God yes. mm -hmm. and to remember what you have yes. is not just for you no. but it's for others yes. and God gets the glory. All the glory God gets the glory oh hallelujah oh, all glories belong God to the God gets the glory hallelujah glory to your oh, name Lord Jesus, in the mighty God. name of Jesus Lord we thank you for this word God, hallelujah we thank you Lord for this word don't bury your gift. Oh, don't bury. Don't bury your gift. Step out. If you are a believer, if you trust in the Lord, the Lord has given you something, step out. Help others. Help use your gift to help the body of Christ. The God, listen, people are crying out. People are searching. You got people that are that that is searching for the word, they're searching for the truth. They don't need to be sugar-coated. They're just looking for the truth. They want to know what is it that they need to be set free. What is it that they're going through? Us as believers is to help the body of Christ, let people know that you, they cannot live the way that they're living, that the Lord said in his word that he will give them peace. We gotta let them know that there's peace in the Lord. There's love in the Lord. There's faithfulness. There's, there's so much in the Lord that will help them live in this world that we live in. We are living in a world that we are saved every time we're on the line where good is evil and evil is good. It is so important for us as believers to come together, fellowship with one another, help one another, help build one another, all that we can do. We're not perfect. We might make mistakes. I said it before, me and my husband both, we might make mistakes. We might say something that might be wrong. We don't mind if someone's saying, woman or man of God, I think you, we don't mind that. We don't mind helping. We don't mind be, being able to do all that we can do for the body of Christ. And those that are watching, if you have any questions, if you have any anything that you want to ask about your walk or whatever, feel free to send one of us a message. We'll talk on it on the next 
time that we're on live, you know, there might be times the Lord might have us on sooner than Thursday. We never know how the Lord might move. And again, we just thank you all for tuning in. Again, I'm Sister Maxine Bias here with Pastor Bias, my wonderful husband. Also, my daughter that's in the back that is, you know, she read the scripture. And I thank everybody that's tuning in. I just thank everybody. I just thank the Lord for today. I thank the Lord for all that he is doing, allowing us to just be able to fellowship with one another, even if you're not even here in front of us. And we do so, see some of the comments that are coming in, and we thank God for everyone that is tuning in. But trust and believe, God is, he's, he has his hand out, and he is waiting for those that are seeking. It's our job to help bring them in. All we got to do is just bring them in and let the Lord do the rest. Let the Lord deliver them. Let the Lord set them free. Let the Lord heal them. Let the Lord strengthen them and guide them. Just bring them in. Allow them to get to know who Christ is. He said, allow the light to shine on you to shine on others. And uh, give your testimony. I also do a talk show called Living Testimony. If anybody would like to come and, and give a testimony, you can send me a message on Facebook. Anytime, it doesn't matter. I can set up a date. And even if you can't come out, you can send me a testimony online. And I'll air it. You know, if you have a testimony, if you have something that you want to share, someone that is out there, something to someone that's out there in the world, you never know. Your testimony can be a blessing to someone else. Somebody else probably going through what you have been through. So again, I thank everyone that is tuning in right now. It is a, you know, we serve a wonderful God that loves us all. And we got to get ready. Are you ready? Are you willing to say yes, Lord? Again, we're, our, we're located in Belport upon this rock ministry. Anybody, whoever is more than welcome to come join us. Our door is open. Come as you are. God loves you just the I mean, the minute you walk through the door is the first step. The minute you walk through the door is the first step. We are here to help anyone. You know, let's go out and let's go do this work for the Lord. Let's do it together. Praise God. So again, we're located in Bellport, New York. Our address is 1745 Montauk Highway, Bellport, New York. Our service starts at 1230. This invite is for family, friends, people that I don't even know. Come out, come join us. I would love to see you there. I would love to just fellowship with you, praise with you, glorify, allow you to just Feel the presence of the Lord. Again, our address is 1745 Montauk Highway, Bellport, New York. Our service starts at 1230. I thank my pastor for that wonderful word. I thank the Lord for just giving us that word on today. We pray that someone get blessed off that word on today. Amen. And um, pastor, would you like to close us out in the prayer? Yes, or? Lord. Hallelujah. So we're going to get another prayer on tonight. Hallelujah. Just again, just trust in and just believe in the Lord and just, you know, keep your faith. Don't let nothing take your joy away. Don't let no one or anything stop you from serving the Lord. Seek him while he's here to be found. Trust in him. I'm telling you, anyone that know me, I'm telling you, they know what I have been through. And so they know where I had came from. They heard the, the I was about to say bishop, they heard the pastor's um, testimony as well. Allow the Lord to do what he has done for us. Allow him to do the same for you. Allow him to work on you and then he'll work on your family and, and everything else will start falling in place. Just trust in the Lord. What else? Do, I mean, there's nothing else that we can possibly say. Is that God is good. Trust and believe. He is really good. Amen? Yes, The pastor's going to go into prayer and to, again, until next Thursday, we love you all. God bless. God yes, Lord. Bless. Oh, Holy Father, we're so oh, thankful. Hallelujah. And grateful, oh God, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us, oh God, to speak through, speak your wisdom, oh God. Speak your love, your joy amongst yes, your people. Lord. Oh God, I ask right now in the name of Jesus that you touch our hearts and minds. Oh God, and our souls, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God, and anything that's in us, God, that's hidden, that's yes, not like Lord. you, oh God. Remove it in the name yes, of Jesus. Lord, name oh God, give us a heart and a will, oh God, to serve thee. Thank you. Oh Lord. God, and to let go of the things that you don't like and start loving the things that oh, you love. Hallelujah. Oh God, give us a heart to please you, Jesus. oh Lord Jesus. Thank Open you. up our thoughts and our minds and let Thank the word in, oh God. Let it be like a seed, oh God. Yes, Plant. Lord in us, oh God. Righteousness, holiness, love, joy, oh God. Put the fruits oh, of the Spirit in us. Oh God, change us according to your will and your purpose, yes, oh God. Creating us a clean heart and renewing us a right spirit, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Order our steps in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you'll be with us. You are the rod and our staff, oh God. Your confidence, 
Oh God, yeah, through the valley. Oh God, through any high place, anything yes, that's not Lord. like God, you'll be here in confidence in the name oh, of Jesus. The and bring us to it. Oh God, we trust in you. Yes, oh God, and we will not lean in our own understanding, yes, but we will trust Lord. in the Lord in, the in all our ways. Jesus. Oh God, we know that we thank must have you. clean hands and a pure heart. Yes, oh God, Jesus. clean our hands and purify our hearts with thank this word. You, oh God, wash us whole, oh God, in the name of Jesus. The name Let the blood of Jesus protect our yes, household and our families and our church family in the name yes, of Jesus. You, All the churches across America, yes, Lord, let the blood of Jesus prevail. Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, push back thank death, you, harm, danger, and destruction amongst oh, your God, peoples, God, God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Those that are not saved, we know yes, that God, Lord. you are thank opening you. up heaven daily. Yes, oh God, and people are coming into the gospel. God, yes. we thank you. Thank oh God, you. for your word and your truth. Oh God, it is light and it shines in darkness. In the name of in Jesus, name and it shines Jesus. in hearts. In yes, the name Lord. of Jesus, and it brings the foul out. Oh God, and it cleans us. Oh God, and it purifies Lord. us, so that we may Thank see you Jesus. in your image. Yes. Oh God, in the name of in Jesus. The name oh God, touch cancer in the name of Thank Jesus. You, touch in tumors Jesus. in the name of Jesus. In touch the sickness Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Thank touch you, blood disease, in kidney disease in the name of Jesus. Touch them bad headaches in the name of Jesus. Touch pain in the name of Jesus. Touch trauma in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you're still a miracle maker. Miracle maker. Oh God, you are a way maker. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. And we glorify you. And we bless you. And we forever give you all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're so worthy, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Until next time, God bless you all. Amen. God bless. Hallelujah. God is so good.